Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm hearing you try to bury me in debt. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing messages. Yeah, and I just saw the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. You tried to bury me in debt. I know what you did last summer is what I'm hearing. So it's possible that someone tried to um, create certain situations that would put you in debt. Or even in poverty. Yeah, and here you have it, the justice with the seven of pentacles. So there was some kind of work. Someone invested in something. They could have recently tried to invest in something again here, but justice is, has already been um something is being restored. I'm hearing restored and replenished. So let's say if, if somebody took something from your account or I don't know what somebody this has something to do with some type with finances you know to me energy is is a is a <laughs> very valuable currency this is finances or energy energy being used for financial gain here for some of you this could have been a lover or i'm hearing for the love of money oh my goodness so somebody did something last summer for some money and they could have tried to possibly work against you. This could have been more than one person because I am seeing the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Here's the Temperance and the Lover's card. Oh, man. Somebody was doing something in the background when it came to a divine path or a divine partnership. Ooh, Six of Swords. I know what you did last summer. Yeah, Six of Swords and a Ten of Swords. The Six of Swords usually means that someone is moving on to calmer waters. They're moving away from a particular situation. Um, your spirit guides, your angels, their ancestors, guys, they are ensuring that you get out of Dodge, that you move away from a situation here. Or this is something, this could have already happened. Six of Swords, Ten of Swords. Somebody, somebody felt like they got away with something. The Six of Swords here, this also is giving me the energy of where it's like someone could have tried to come into your life possibly and act like they were for you. I'm, I don't know if they were against you, but it, it, it seems to me like a person has entered another person's life and someone's intentions changed is what I feel. Or, or someone, they 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 didn't give you all of the facts or the information. Six of Swords. Somebody moved away from something. Or somebody was like on the run. Someone had moved away from some kind of deceit or, or some type of betrayal here. Strength card, Four of Wands. Someone was being held back from having stability, security, creating some type of foundation. The Page of Pentacles, though, but someone now is, this is the, the I know what you did last summer. The, the, the information is coming in. Someone's getting truth and clarity here. Somebody traveled. Maybe this was last summer. Somebody traveled somewhere and they did something. Or they connected with someone or collaborated with someone at a distance so somebody tried to do something at a distance in hopes to block something this could have been someone tried to pay someone to do something at a distance to stop two people from coming together possibly yes yeah, someone here was trying to block like a connection they could have traveled to do this or to plan this with someone that lived at a distance but someone is now saying no i know what you did last summer so yeah Five of Wands, yeah, this is chaos and conflict. Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Somebody thought that um, by doing something, sabotaging something, that it wasn't going to come in. Someone still found the strength and the courage to still make a situation happen. And now they're going after 
um, a, a partnership, a foundation, some type of union, a new beginning here, um, a financial blessing or opportunity. Yes, the missing piece here is that there's been a snake in your camp. There, there's a devil here. There's someone, there's an extremely obsessed person here, King of Swords. There's a very obsessed narcissistic person here. So somebody may have done something like last summer. This, this is an ongoing situation. Someone here has been putting in work to sabotage a person um, or a connection here. They did this by going in cahoots with a person at a distance. But someone is realizing now like, oh, now it makes sense why they lost money. Someone could have possibly tried to um, cause a lot of financial burdens for someone so that they would not move towards a partnership. Yeah, exactly. Something about this energy is very just like, it's something here is very, I'm hearing convoluted. I don't know. Nine of Wands, the lovers. But I, I feel that somebody here, they didn't give up though. The Sun. Yeah, and the Ace of Wands. Somebody didn't give up. Somebody kept on going, digging deeper to figure out what exactly is going on. Because this King of Pentacles here was playing both sides in hopes to get money. This right here seems like two people who were in cahoots doing something um, to work against someone. And I feel like this particular partnership, somebody in this partnership has gone against the other person. And now something, it's not going according to, to plan. Somebody here was working with someone possibly to try and like sabotage another person. And someone is realizing or they will soon realize that who they thought was their partner was actually working against them. Mm -hmm. So somebody went into a partnership, a collaboration, a deal, possibly to try and make something difficult for someone else to block something, to bring chaos, conflict, to even hurt or harm someone for their own personal gain. Or this was to block someone from going into a partnership or a relationship. But somebody here was actually playing both sides. There's a lot that has been happening in the background here. Heavy Sagittarius energy. Four of Cups. Somebody here has backed out of a deal. And, and I'm getting someone is either trying to bribe someone or blackmail them because someone is like, well, I know what you did last summer. So what I'm getting is there's like two people who possibly tried to work together or someone gave a person an idea to do something. They went through with it, but the person has had a change of heart. Yeah, look, look, the lovers and then here's the devil, but the devil has been captured. So somebody now, oh my goodness, somebody here is doing something out of love. But there wasn't originally the thing like so, somebody here changed sides or someone was always. Oh. This, almost, this, this is like somebody here knew from the very beginning. Some, somebody purposely did something that they knew was going to trick someone into like hanging themselves like getting them stuck this this is a setup is what this is yeah the fool somebody here wanted someone to push themselves out of a, a deal or a situation so someone here was playing both sides and they wanted someone to pretty much sabotage themselves and and what someone is doing is they got someone to admit to doing something i'm, I'm hearing um yeah, someone has gotten a person to like admit to doing something and they're saying, well, I know what you did last summer. This is like someone bribed a person or they're trying to blackmail them. But it gives me like the energy of if you tell on me, you automatically tell on yourself. That's what somebody is telling a person. Well, you really can't blackmail me because if you try and blackmail or bribe me, you automatically take yourself down. What is this?
somebody promised the person something. If you do this, I will. Somebody was paid to do something. So maybe that's that's what it is. Someone was bribed. They was paid to do something. You know, if you break this person up or whatever, I'll I'll give you something in return. And someone was willing to do it. But I feel like somebody realized that they shouldn't have somebody somebody had a change of heart. But something here is telling me that this person, they didn't quite have a change of heart. Somebody knew that they weren't actually gonna go through with this this bribe or whatever this plan is. They did they they played along to get along. Somebody already knew exactly how this situation was gonna turn out. Somebody got tricked. There's, this is a huge plot twist here. Tell me what's going on. Queen of Cups. Somebody was trying to hold someone back from a Queen of Cups. Yeah, here's the King of Cups. I, what did I just say? The Tower. And look at this Tower. Somebody here was trying to mend a situation. Okay, so what I'm getting is someone here was possibly trying to mend a situation with a divine feminine or masculine, take it however it resonates, and they thought that they would pay someone to watch, monitor, hack, block, or delay something that was coming into the life of this person, either because they just felt like being mean or they was trying to save this person for themselves i don't know something here has gotten out of control though because someone is saying this like this somebody here is trying to present themselves like they're good and they're innocent and someone is in the background saying no i know what you did last summer so somebody tried to do something and they were caught the Queen of Wands fell on top of the Strength card, which will be heavy Leo energy, the Tower. So you have this King of Cups here with this like Leo energy. The King of Cups is next to the Tower, so that's heavy Scorpio energy. There's a Queen of Cups out here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like there is a male here who could have Scorpio heavily aspected in their chart. And then there's the Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands I'm picking up could for sure have Leo heavily aspected in their chart. So, so this is a third party situation. Okay. What are these people doing? What did they do? They did something last year and it's coming back now. I don't know who paid who to do what. I, that's where like something here is very convoluted. A lot of wires are being crossed. There's something here about wires. This could have even been a setup where someone was wearing a wire. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a tower that has hit. Someone here is trying to fix something now. And they're trying to fix it by bribing or blackmailing someone. But that's very hard to do because someone already knows what happened. That's why I keep hearing, I know what you did last summer. This bribing and blackmailing doesn't work because, again, if someone tries to blackmail whoever this person is, because I really don't know where who is attached to this energy, I don't really know right now who the good guy or bad guy is. Maybe if someone is trying to bribe like this Queen of Cups, this innocent person trying to scapegoat them or something like that, this person can easily say, well, I know what you did last summer. Don't try to blackmail me because I know your whole operation. I know what you did. So this is somebody who was maybe in a part of something and they, they decided to get themselves out of it. Someone, their hands are tied because they can't try to scapegoat this person because if they do that, they will have to tell on themselves. The devil, yeah. Yep. So someone here is watching someone obsessively. Yeah, and they don't they they can't believe what has happened here. Look, the page of cups and then here you have the king of cups and the hierophant. Somebody here thought that they was going to try to play on someone's beliefs or their moral code. Look at this here how this is though. I told you somebody played both sides. The hier two hierophants came out. One is of the light, one is not. 
Somebody here played both sides on purpose to try and get something that they wanted. So it's like somebody went into some type of deal operation or whatever pretending i'm gonna say pretending like they were all in and they were going to get something done play the 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 bad guy but i don't feel like this person actually was a bad person i feel like this is giving me very much like almost like uh like an undercover type of energy is what i feel Somebody literally has, has played an, a whole role for the sake of solving a case. And somebody is like trying to tell this person, hey, yeah, you know, if you say this or if you tell this or whatever, this is going to happen. And the person's like, huh, how? I know exactly what you did last summer. You can't say anything. But something here... It, Somebody's just going to be caught anyway, because the, whatever they've done, it has already been exposed. There's all there's already a lot of proof of whatever this is that happened behind the scenes. And that's the reason why now this person is very, very shocked, because what I feel is someone tried to scapegoat someone that they could have previously been like in a relationship with or something like that with. This kind of reminds me of the energy that was coming out before where someone pretty much like went after someone, attacked them or retaliated against the person based off of a lie. So somebody here tried to attack maybe this queen of cups based on a lie that could have been told by this extremely jealous, envious, possessive like queen of wands. This king of cups decided, well, yeah, I'm gonna work against this queen of cups. Although this queen of cups could have been someone that they actually cared for, friend, family member, lover or whatever, and now they're trying to come out of something because they are regretful that they, they did this to this Queen of Cups, I feel. And they're realizing that the only reason why this Queen of Wands devil energy here made them do this was so that perhaps they would miss an opportunity. So that they would not actually make this offer to this Queen of Cups. So someone here, okay, thank you, Spirit. We, we got it. You have a karmic feminine here. Jealous, deceitful, envious, and obsessed with the divine feminine. This person told a big lie, okay, to a masculine about this divine feminine. This divine masculine, I'm not going to call him divine. This masculine then decided to perhaps, I'm hearing hire someone. I'm, and I, it's interesting because I'm hearing Drake hire some help, get rid of them. And Drake is a Scorpio. Somebody here, somebody here was like on some real death-like energy. Somebody was like, yeah, get rid of that person. And it could have been somebody felt like a divine feminine knew something about a situation that they had already been a part of. And they felt threatened by this Queen of Cups. So somebody was like, well, get rid of the Queen of Cups because the Queen of Cups... Being someone very caring, kind, um, compassionate, also very intuitive, possibly psychic, someone who has a good moral code. Somebody was afraid that a queen of cups was going to expose something. So what this other karmic feminine, what this karmic feminine did is told a masculine, you have someone in your life that is going to expose something that you did or that we did. You need to get rid of that person or you need to do something that's going to shut them up or get them out of the way. This masculine was like, yeah, you're right. So here's that karmic couple. They worked against this divine feminine. And this was something that a divine feminine probably doesn't even know anything about. They tried to scapegoat this person or silence this person or whatever. Someone here was pretending that they were one way when they weren't. This also tells me that this Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine, could have been like a, in this hierophant energy, possibly like a spiritual leader, guru, I don't know, um, prophet, tarot reader, or whatever. Someone here was trying to 
um, slander this part, like slander this part. So, okay, somebody wanted to take this person's credibility away and make them out to be a liar, a false leader, or whatever. Like, this is defamation of character. This, they, this was all done to somehow make this couple. Like I said, it, it was to validate their reasoning for doing something. But everyone can see this Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine. They're like, no, <laughs> whatever lies have been told, it's just that it's lies. So now this masculine is seeing the truth and is trying to prevent this tower from happening. Because this person here has sent something out or paid someone to do something. And it's all backfiring. If somebody here paid a person to do something to this divine feminine, they paid someone that's some type of informant. There's no way they can get out. There's like so much evidence. And in a reading that I did like a week ago, that's what I was saying. There's information that's being entered into discovery. Somebody here was possibly wearing a wire or something. They already have all of this information recorded. And it's going to be entered into discovery in possibly a court case. So somebody here can try to blackmail a person all they want. And it's like, well, when the information comes out, it's going to be very obvious as to who set this deal up. Who did this? Not only is it going to shed light on this, somebody has also done some things in the past. It's like by going up against this person, all of their stuff is about to be laid out for old and new. Mm. And this is all because somebody chose to listen to this queen of wands who was in the background, jealous, envious, and had all of this hatred towards this divine feminine the entire time. Wow. Wow. The hermit. Yeah. Ugh, look at that. Double hermit. Double hermit. Double hierophant. Tell me that there's not an undercover person here. Tell me that there is not. Somebody here is playing both sides. Somebody is like, oh no. Somebody here has been investigating this situation. Somebody is like, oh yeah, I'm a bad person. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're a spiritual leader. They're a psychic. They're, they're very, very spiritual. Double hermit, double hierophant. Get out of here. This is, this is someone here who is investigating something and they know, someone here knows law and they know spiritual law inside out. Somebody knew that like something here, it could not be done. Somebody already knew that, that, that they were, someone was facing like a losing battle. It was like, yeah, let's, let's just play along with it. Because they already knew there's no way you can you can set this person up. There's no way you can get rid of this person. Nothing. Somebody here has possibly taken someone's money to do something. And it's like, what are you going to do? The person, if, if someone was paid something and they cashed out to do something, they got away with the money and everything. And the job was not complete. And it's like, well, what are you going to do now? Are you actually going to go and tell the police or somebody else? That I stole from you. You can't go and tell someone that you paid for black magic or to get rid of a person without you, of course, trapping yourself. So somebody here is just like their their hands are completely tied. There's nothing they can do. They sent out some type of hit. I'm just going to say like they put a hit out to do something. And now they're upset because they did not get what they wanted. But what, who are they going to call? Because the other person, all they have to say, hey, I know what you did last summer. This, this gives me the vibes of like somebody put a hit out on someone and the hitman is like, well, no, I didn't make the hit, but I took your money. But yeah, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to go and tell the police that you paid me to do it? So this person is like, well, yeah, I mean, we both can go to jail, but, you know, go ahead. <laughs> what are you going to do? Whoa. The look at this, the fool, somebody here was real foolish and they got tricked because <laughs> somebody lied about this divine feminine. <laughs>
But somebody knew the truth. Somebody knew the truth about this divine feminine was like, man, I'm not about to take that person out. I'm not doing any of this. But if you if you want to pay me to do this foolish stuff, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is kind of this is like a major plot twist, but it's kind of funny. Cause somebody got beat completely at their own game. Look at this. Look at this King of Wands like, oh, ouch. Man, I thought I had this in the bag. No, you didn't. Queen of Pentacles here. Money. Next, right next to the look at this. And and it's interesting because the King and the Queen of Wands are here together with the Knight of Wands and the lovers. Somebody here. <laughs> oh my goodness. The lover shawl next to the star and the wheel of fortune with the queen of cups and the emperor. Let me tell you what happened here. Because I'm saying this. This is something else. Somebody paid a person. <laughs> Y'all, this, this is not funny. But the plot twist, this is like if you went to a movie, you would be like, what? <laughs> Somebody paid a person to do something to an innocent divine feminine. This was a setup, okay, to get rid of this divine feminine. I feel strongly that the person who was sent in to do something to divine feminine, just hear me out. And I tell you all the time, I can give you a storyline, but the cards don't lie. This person may have taken a bit of a hit being involved in this situation, but this person is actually destined to be in the life of this divine feminine. This could actually be divine feminine's counterpart. Look at this person sitting there like, you thought I was about to do what to Queen of Cups? Oh man, are you stupid? Are you dumb? Like, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Like, <laughs> you thought I was gonna do what? To my baby? What? Like, I'm telling you, this is like, seriously, Somebody somebody went along with the setup knowing the entire time that this was never going to be like, this is giving very much like, I did a reading months ago, like the bodyguard. Somebody here has been like undercover or they've been hiding themselves. That's the reason why the Hierophant is out here like this and the Hermit. Someone here has been investigating more than one situation Somebody here has been studying a divine feminine and they've been studying some type of operation that is against divine feminine. Someone here has been playing like they are in a, maybe like some master occultist or something like that. This person could actually be, like I said, like a real spiritualist. Somebody here has just been playing this role. But this was meant to be this way because what this did is this allows someone to get on the inside of an operation that somebody was doing against a divine feminine. But I feel like it's actually leading them to justice to resolve another situation that was done maybe before. So somebody here has this operation where they're they're trying to um, hurt certain people, but it stopped when they got to this divine feminine. Because not only this divine feminine I'm hearing is a royal divine being and, and you can't touch this divine feminine. This divine feminine has a masculine that is inside of the operation, but also protecting them. So now you have somebody out here that's going to not only get this divine feminine, but they're going to shut down this entire operation. That somebody used against divine feminine and other people. That's the that's the plot twist at the tower moment. Somebody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this. The tower with the page of swords. Somebody's like, what? Somebody is looking into some information like, did y'all do a background check on this person? Like, do you know who this person is? Judgment. Karma. Somebody was an angel in the background the entire time. See, I always say, you don't see an angel's wings and you don't see the crown of a royal being. They're walking amongst us all day, every day. They're sitting in the club, the bar. They're in the darkest places.
the tower is somebody was being watched by a divine being the entire time. And they thought that this person who is all love and light was actually dark and on their side. This right here, I, this is a this is like an undercover person, either in the this actual three D physical realm or in the spirit. There's no denying it. Somebody and somebody's like, yeah, go ahead and snitch. If you snitch on me, you'll do more time than I will snitch. Somebody's like, if you if you dare say anything about me, you you will bury yourself and your entire family. You'll be under the jail. Try it. So somebody here really has no choice but to let somebody go. And look at this. Temperance. Temperance. The horn has been blown. There's a Sagittarius here somewhere. Somebody like, yeah, I did it. And what, what are you going to do about it? You should never ever been playing with God's chosen ones. Man, <laughs> there's like an entire group or there, there's a couple here. This couple could be a part of some type of group. This whole thing is going to be dismantled. I'm This whole operation is going to be shut down. Eight of swords. Somebody's going to jail. Just Ten of pentacles. Ten of cups. Do y'all? Five of swords. And the six of cups. Somebody here has a lover from like a past life. Oh, this is like some real cold, like movie type stuff that this is right now. This is like somebody knowing that a person is their person, right? This divine feminine may not even know this person. This is somebody here who has inserted themselves in some like dark lifestyle or operate secret operation that was to go against this divine feminine or masculine, because it could be a masculine that is being targeted. But I'm strongly getting feminine, an actual woman. Just so that they will be able to watch and monitor this woman. They're, they're studying divine feminine. But they're also studying everybody that's around Divine Feminine. Because they know that Divine Feminine has been targeted. So this person is, is, is just in the mix of everything. And this person acts like they have no hands in anything. Like they don't see anything. They don't know anything. But what this person knew... The whole time was that they were going to win whatever this situation is. This is some kind of past life karmic situation. They knew that all they needed to do in this lifetime was to eliminate these people that was going against this divine feminine. And boom, they get everything. That's why I'm saying somebody's like, so what? Yeah, you know what I did last summer. And I know everything that you've done over the last 20 years. I've studied everything about you. So try me if you want to. Try me. That's somebody's attitude, like, try me. I, I dare you to say anything about anything. Try me. Somebody's like, literally, I have 20 years of a, I have a case of 20 years of stuff that you've done. And I'm hearing somebody's like, oh, I'm me and Divine Feminine, we're walking away from this. And I dare you to say anything. I dare you. Like, whoever this masculine is, shh. No joke. This masculine is a mastermind. Do you hear me? This person is, um, this is, <laughs> I don't know who this like undercover agent, hitman person is. I don't know. 
But this person literally inserted them themselves into the life of this divine feminine. Like I'm seeing like where a person is has been given orders. Like this is your assignment, and they was like, "Well, let me go, let me go here." Because I, this person could have like spiritual psychic gifts. This person could have seen a picture of a divine. This is this is an agent, you guys. I don't know what I'm tapping into. This is like an agent. They're like, yeah. When they saw this picture of divine feminine, even if they, they didn't know divine feminine. For some, this person, they're in your life, you know them. For some, you don't. This person saw when they... I'm getting when this person took on this case. When they took on this assignment to... take down this group or whatever they fell for this divine feminine but it's something about this person this person has like psychic gifts they knew that this was their divine feminine or after watching or monitoring or for in some cases spending time with this divine feminine they was like yeah that's my person and they made sure there's there i can't allow anything to happen to my person so this person was like, let me just kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to get rid of every single person that's trying to go after Divine Feminine. And we're just going to live happily ever after. After that. that, That's like this person's mission. Somebody's mission changed, though. They went in, and I feel like this was just a regular assignment. And they was like, no, I'm assigned to do work for my actual, like, my forever, my person, my, my spouse. So this person's like, let me just take out all these enemies so that we can live happily ever after in peace. Happy family, wealth, abundance, longevity, legacy. They're like, I just need to take care of this one little thing first. Let me get rid of these people that's in the background. Somebody here could have, there could have been someone who was in prison who had like some kind of personal vendetta against the person or someone is getting out of prison there's somebody here in prison or they know they're going to prison and they're trying to oh okay so somebody could have went to prison or they're facing prison time What these people did is they they created this lie and said that the reason why this happened was because Divine Feminine told about something that happened or Divine Feminine exposed something or whatever. Somebody has, has said that the reason why somebody lost something, they went to prison or, or whatever the case is, they put everything on this Divine Feminine and somebody was like, well, wait a minute. I know Divine Feminine and she didn't have anything to do with any of this. So they got in there and they saw somebody's whole operation. They was like, wow, these people literally scapegoated this Divine Feminine. Page of Cups, this person going to make an offer. Queen of Pentacles, yep. The moon. There was some type of, like I said, there was a lot, there was a, an illusion created about this divine feminine. This divine feminine, somebody here could have said divine feminine paid someone to do something or somebody, divine feminine told a lie so that they would make money. That Somebody just pinned a big lie on, the, and I'm telling you, the culprit is this, this karmic feminine. This karmic feminine got in the head of a masculine and was like, yeah, the reason why you know, this or that happened to you is because they're divine feminine. She did it. She lied. She did this. And the whole time it was probably them. You know, the reason why you're you're facing, you know, karma right now is because you told her about this situation, blah, 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 whatever. Somebody here has put a whole plot, plan, strategy, scheme, scandal on a divine feminine who had nothing to do with this situation. Somebody said, no, 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 wait a minute. Let me get in there and figure this out myself. Can you believe my doorbell is ringing? <laughs> I'm sorry. One second, you guys. Who the? F hmm. 
Hmm. Sorry. I'm not ending this reading. I don't know who that is. Um, the Hierophant. <laughs> somebody should have rejected. So, when somebody came to a person with this offer, they should have rejected this. They should have gotten more information or whatever. They should have rejected whatever. Something was offered to a person. You know, because they created a lie and an illusion about a divine feminine. And when this person created this illusion and came up with this lie, somebody, they went quickly after, oh, yeah, they, they were right on board with trying to hurt, harm, or sabotage this divine feminine. Bad move. The Hierophant here, the Ace of Cups, and the Hangman. This person is now having an awakening that this person always had love. This person always had loyalty. This person didn't do anything to do. Now this person is so regretful. Whoever this masculine is that listened to somebody who gave, told them this lie about this divine film. This, this is somebody here, you guys. I'm telling you, this is a huge scandal. I don't even know if some of you, if this is your story, if you know what's going on in the background. Somebody was like coming after, for some of you, like your life because of a lie told on a, by a karmic feminine. Somebody just wanted to get you out of the way. I mean, like they wanted you out of the picture forever for good. And they played on the mind, the emotions, and they used the resources of this masculine because I'm, I'm hearing... Now I'm hearing Spin About You by Drake. And I think he, he says in the song, I'm a made man, so I got to protect you. Whoever this masculine is, is very much well connected. I feel like this is a person that can be very, very good, but they're connected to certain, they have alliances. If they want something to happen, they can make it. This person has always possibly had love and loyalty for this divine feminine. Somebody hated that. So what they did is they told this person that you were the reason why they were going through something in their life. That was possibly threatening their lifestyle, their livelihood. This was to get you out of the way for good, divine feminine. This part, what somebody did is they set up, they set up a situation so that a masculine would get rid of you himself. Is what they did. And this per this mask now is like, oh my gosh, what have I done? But the thing is, is the person that they tried to bring in to carry out some kind of um, plan to go against you, that person actually is in love with you. That person is protecting you at all costs. This divine masculine, I'm sorry, this masculine because they're not divine. This person will never be able to get, like, touch you, saying that, they, they, like, they, whoo, this person, they, they're going to pay for it. I'm telling you. And it goes with the reading I did yesterday where I said this masculine is going to pay so much karma for, a, for putting you in harm's way the way that they did. This person, mm, 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 the magician, you've already manifested a brand new beginning. There's the guy, yeah. And there we go, back at the beginning, back at square one, seven of pentacles. Somebody did not get the return on the investment that they were looking for. And now somebody is down to the last and they're like, so what are we going to do now? There is nothing that you can do now. There is nothing you can do now. Somebody here will forever be cursed to poverty, bad health. Every single thing, and I feel like I feel like for this person, God is like death will be too easy. This person here is going to have to live a life of suffering because they sat there and they allowed somebody to like this person listened to a lie from a karmic feminine, and they themselves called the shot. They themselves put the hit out. They don't realize that this karmic feminine literally convinced them to do all of this mess just to use their resources. Somebody knew that this masculine, like I said, had 
alliances, was well connected and so forth. And they was like, I tell you what, I'm so sick and tired of this divine feminine. I'm gonna get him, him, I'm gonna get this masculine himself to get rid of this divine feminine. So they made up some huge lie. So that this masculine will turn his back on this feminine. He then went and hired somebody or did whatever he did, literally, to really hurt and harm this divine feminine. And I feel like whoever was a part of this was like, wait a minute. Does this man not realize that he's going up against somebody that never did anything to him? Somebody's like, I'm not carrying out this plan. This is a totally innocent person. Justice. So what you have coming in, Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine, is your true masculine. King of Cups. He's coming. And, and that's going to be your karmic justice. That's beautiful. This person is going to give you what you deserve. Equal give and take. And you get to walk away from this life of being watched and monitored and all of that. And you get to have wish fulfillment because you have healed. Yeah, will of fortune. I can't make this up. The star, the will of fortune. You're going towards your destiny. These people, they can't watch you, track you, monitor you or anything anymore. These people, they deserve to be under the jail for what they did. Like, like mm, mm, mm. the level of rage that just came over me. <laughs> like, I don't even want y'all to know what's going through my mind right now. Y'all be like, Tori, really? Because, I mean, th this is like some real shady stuff. Like, the plans that they had for this divine feminine, wow. Boy, oh boy. I mean, I, it, it was some real, like, low-down, dirty, scandalous type of stuff that they were planning. Like, are you serious right now? And thought they was going to get away. And somebody, I mean, whoever did this, like, I'm telling their hands are completely tied. They, the only thing they can do is walk away. And I feel like this person, they have to walk away. They lost their money. They lost their time, their effort, their energy. Yeah, they may lose their life. I mean, but... Eye for an eye. I, how can you have mercy for us? This is, y'all, I'm telling you, I don't know. This full moon is exposing so much. Can y'all believe, literally, we had the Hierophant come out with the Hierophant and the Hermit come out with the Hermit? So you got an investigator here that's playing both sides, and then you have some kind of spiritual leader, occultist, or somebody else that's playing both sides. Somebody here met their match. Is what this is. Somebody was like, oh, so you're going to go up against this divine feminine and you want to try to off divine feminine? Okay, cool. And they know this divine feminine didn't do anything. They may not know, but it's like you should have known better. You know this person wouldn't do any anything that you even, somebody told you they did. Look at this thief, sneaky, and feelings. This is a masculine here. Somebody here being sneaky. And this person had feelings for Divine Feminine and decided, well, I'm going to steal from Divine Feminine. Or, what did I say earlier? I know what you did last summer. And um, what else did I say? I don't remember. I know what you did last summer. Something else I said. What was it? It was something else I heard. But I know in the beginning it was something about money. Somebody here was stuck in a honeymoon phase and they probably ghosted you. Some of you, this is like a female friend that was involved in this scandal. Some of these people now, they're afraid. Mm -hmm. They're afraid now because they're like, whoa, wh what are we going to do now? <laughs> For some of you, like I said, this person, they have, a, like, they're in an, an alliance. They have an alliance and a lot of different allies. This person here who did this against you, I feel like they have hired people and, and given bribes. Maybe could have even bribed, like, one of your female friends to go against you. If you guys have a female friend that just, like, ghosted you, they stopped talking to you or whatever, I would not be surprised if that person was a part of this plot. 
because somebody here was was um like watching you or sharing information about you this this person was th this person was paying a lot of people to get information about you but i'm also getting to where for some of you this situation it happened and now this masculine who did this to you because they fell for this lie they now have other people trying to watch you because they're they're very very shocked that you're actually not the culprit here this person they they believe this lie through and through 100 percent, and now they're like wait really because i feel like whatever is being done to you it's not affecting you because i mean it's the law of of karma balance justice you didn't do anything somebody's like there is no way this person could have done anything because nothing is hitting them whoever whoever this masculine is they're very spiritual and whoever they got to do something to you is also very spiritual. So these people could have been trying to spiritually assassinate you. This isn't like somebody trying to, you know, just come out in broad daylight. No, they're trying to spiritually assassinate you. This is like a, a, a battle of magicians. Somebody met their match though. Come on, sorry. Hell no. Divine Feminine didn't do that to you. <laughs> I'm not about to do no kind of black magic, hocus pocus, hoodoo voodoo. Hell no. Somebody is like, clearly, you not using your spiritual eyes because you should have been able to know that you going, you're trying to assassin, spiritually assassinate a person that's totally innocent. Sorry, guys, a car fell on the floor. <laughs> And the card that fell on the floor is imprisonment. Yeah. Somebody's going to go to jail and, <laughs> and you're going to get married. Y'all look. Marriage and courtship. Wow. Man, this was one big scandal. I just wonder though, like with this karmic feminine, like where is she? Is she on the run somewhere? Like she did, it's like she did all of this and she's sitting back quiet. Some of you, this karmic feminine was somebody that like you know this person or, that she, or they were your friend. This person is afraid. L let me tell you, <laughs> this person is somewhere sitting up scared and afraid because they know. They participated in this whole scandal some type of way. I guarantee you this person, some of you have a friend or a family member that was in cahoots with these people to go against you like this. 